All right, people, let's start off with the, excuse my cold. Let's start off with the idle pose. So I'm looking for something like this, right? So I want to start off with the idle because I want the run to be quite similar to that with the shoulder up. So what we'll do, let's position this character so it is facing sideways like this, right? And also the legs. This leg is forward. Okay, and the weight. What the? Well, really, let's, we'd have to move the hips. We can just move this leg back, and then just have it. We're slowly going down, <coughs> so we bring it down a bit. Remember, we want we don't want the legs locked out. Okay, so you know what? Just for animation's sake, we've got joints. Let's show the joints. All right. And let's just, then we can see, you know. Okay, that's cool. All right, we've got it slightly. Because when, we, when, when we're going to be doing the idle, we want it to go down and up. So we don't want it to lock out, right? Okay. And let's see what we've got. Top bits here. Okay, we rotated that. Let's genu genuinely rotate it back. Maybe have them a bit forward ready. And it's always good to just tilt the head a little. I think this shoulder is intersecting there. We won't worry about that, let it intercept. That's just bad character design, isn't it? That's what it is. Is it bad character design? All right. Maybe it's, maybe we can have the chest just pointing out a little bit more, straighter. That could do. Okay. Bring the shoulder down a little. And slight bend. Because we don't want that to lock out either though. And uh, just slightly out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe back a bit. And this shoulder. <coughs> so let's see. We want that pose where. Okay, we want the sword like this, and we want to lift the shoulder up slightly, and then we want the upper upper one there. I'll bring the shoulder down a little bit. Bring the shoulder down a little. 
looks a bit better and then hopefully with the Taking a bit of the joints there. All right. Maybe rotate. Oh, let's rotate. I'm going to rotate it out a bit though, isn't it? We don't want it curling in. Okay, that's fine. On here. Really, this should be. IK, but you know what? We'll <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we want it to go over like that. Is that arm weight okay? Yeah, that's all right. All right, let's zero this out. Actually, let's keep it simpler because it might be more. Okay, so we've got pretty, pretty decent pose there, right? Pretty, we could raise just thinking this bicep maybe it's the model but it's Maybe move this a bit closer in. I'm just—it's not really. Yeah, it's a bit down. You know what? Let's keep. I think the bicep needs to be a bit more. There and then. The forearm comes up a bit. Ah, that's better. Ah, that's better. So you've got that space in the middle. You can see it's clear. Even when I hold my... It's going forward a bit, right? So the arm needs to be a bit forward. It's a bit back here. So maybe the shoulder. Bring it forward. Yeah, that's, that's a bit more natural, isn't it? And then maybe a bit more like that, that's better. Yeah, that feels better. That feels better. Oh, there's a bit of a intersection in the head there. So what we'll do, we'll just, we can just get the upper Move it back, move that back slightly. You know, that's no problem. So we'll let it intersect a little, that's fine. It's not a problem. But that feels a lot. That feels better. Okay, so what we'll do, <coughs> we'll just do a quick, excuse me, we'll just do a quick idle pose here with this character. So let's save this. Uh, idle animation so there's a quick way of doing this and what we'll do we'll get there like we're saying like a, a lot of the times you know let's do 30 frames yeah? and if we need to extend it we can extend it let's just key here key at 30 and at 15 just bring it down a little bit okay and now i can tell straight away 40 might be better
Okay. And then what we'll do, we'll bring it up. Slightly, so what I'm doing in the graph here, I'm just slightly bringing up the character. So let's see. Yeah, you know what, this guy, let's make him a bit slower, man. Let's, we go to 60. Let's put this on 30 frames a second as well. Remember, games is 30, right? Let's check my settings out. 30, save. Okay. That's better because I want him to be like. Hur, hur. Yeah, you got to get into the character, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and then what we'll do, normally I'll come in here and I'll go to animation to save this. <coughs> Sorry, can you hear me? Oh, maybe I was a bit far away from... Oh, I need to select that. All right. So we know this is just going up and down, look. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. And remember, guys, Maya Animation Mastery is on a very special offer. Half is half price off the half price. So it's even more, you know, reduced for the New Year's. So check that out. Um, a lot of students have enrolled. Like I had about just 10 students over the last, what, two, three days enrolling. So, you know, the offer's there to end of January, New Year's. Okay, for you guys. All right, I'll see you in the next video.